Although Invincible is renowned for its graphic gore and violent scenes, it also has good narrative and endearing characters. Having said that, fans of the original comic books will already be aware of Angstrom Levy's might and danger as the primary antagonist for the early part of Invincible Season 2. A common difficulty with modifying someone else's work is ensuring the modification is distinct enough to set it apart from the original and thus validate its existence. If that isn't done, the adaptations usually come off as a huge time waster for the viewer and a money grab for the creative teams involved. Although it's reasonable to presume the show will go to considerable pains to differentiate Angstrom Levy's TV version from his comic book counterpart, fans of the show may currently catch up on enough material. Angstrom Levy has the capacity to travel through parallel Earths and construct portals to multiple universes, though it's unclear how he acquired this ability. In addition, he makes use of this capacity to learn more about himself from the other universes, accumulating an almost limitless store of wisdom and knowledge. In the comics, two of Invincible's most fearsome and recognizable enemies, the Mahler twins, accidentally lead him to Angstrom Levy's stronghold, prompting Invincible to pursue them. Levy is caught in the chaos of their fight and almost perishes in an explosion the twins set off. After the explosion, Angstrom Levy finds Invincible completely undamaged and believes the young hero is to blame for his near-death experience. He then swears retaliation on Invincible. As if that weren't awful enough, the accident causes Angstrom Levy to become badly disfigured, causing his skull to enlarge to unnatural proportions. This further solidifies his hatred for Invincible. Probably one of Invincible's most formidable and deadly opponents is Angstrom Levy. He possesses the previously mentioned teleportation ability, greater strength and durability, because to his recent disfigurement slash transformation, the capacity to build portals to different dimensions and travel across them at command, and a brilliant mind because of his enhanced brain. His ability to jump between dimensions is an intriguing threat, but the most of these powers aren't all that dissimilar from what Invincible is accustomed to dealing with. Angstrom Levy would become virtually unstoppable if he had access to information about his enemy's weaknesses, true identities, and potential assassins if he could go to other dimensions and communicate with himself from other universes. It's likely that Robert Kirkman, being a shrewd writer, considered this when creating the character, but it will be interesting to watch how the show handles this potentially overpowering talent. It will also be interesting to observe whether Angstrom Levy's powers in Invincible. Season 2 alter much from those in his comic book adaptation. Naturally, there will always be ardent fans' concerns about the integrity of the adaptation when a series is adapted for a different platform. A cherished character's appearance can be subtly altered, and this can cause a significant deal of discontent among the core following. That same line of reasoning still holds true for Angstrom Levy and Kirkman series. But Kirkman himself appears to be well aware of that, as he recently disclosed that Angstrom Levy and the multiverse plot of Invincible Season 2 will be more lively and vibrant. A significant portion of his newly developed admiration for the character may be ascribed to this is us actor and Emmy Award winner Sterling K. Brown's voice acting. Moreover, Angstrom Levy's plotline in the second season of Invincible will mostly mirror the plot of his comic book adaptation. Levy sees himself as Invincible's greatest adversary, and since the program uses the same bizarre accident from the comics, it still seems like that. The second season of Invincible is almost here and viewers will soon find out how Angstrom Levy on the show compares to his comic book counterpart.